YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a Netflix suggestions, recommendations, whatever I decided to title this video. Um, part two. Um, I did a part one a really like a forever ago. I don't like. I think it might have been like a year ago. I know, shocking, but I'm pretty sure it was like a year ago. So I decided we do a part two. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna just kind of. I'm gonna get. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna get you get you guys some ideas of some good Netflix movies, shows that I like to watch and that I've watched recently. I'm pretty sure I've watched almost all of these. I think when I wrote them down, I wrote these down like forever ago, but I you just couldn't film the video until now. So. That's what we're gonna get going with today. I'm just chilling at the edge of my bed because why not? Okay, I've got my notebook and if I look down, I'm gonna try to edit all of me looking down out of the video, but do you see that? Well, I'm sorry. Ready, set, go. Um, The Good Place, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I watched it with my mom. I watched a lot of shows with my mom. Don't be surprised. It's just, you know what? I'm okay with it. So, I watched it with my mom. It's really good. It's really just about, like, these people who died and they go to the good place. I'm not gonna spoil it say anymore because that would kind of be spoiling it. So, watch it, please. Actually, honestly, I'm trying to try not to say, oh, go watch it. Because I say that about every single show when I do these videos. And I just go, you know, go watch all of them. But it's a good one. I recommend it. This next one so good i recently watched it like twice so um it's called Shit's creek it's really good it's basically about this family that's like really really rich and they own this little town but they get all their money taken from them so they go live in this small town that like they own and it's just like their lives there and it's just really funny like they're all really funny but also has like a really good storyline to it highly recommended you should go watch it. It like just came out with a new season a little couple like a month ago or something. But it's so good. Highly recommended. Um, Insatiable. Pretty sure I'm saying that right. Um, this one's really good. It's got a lot of like kind of moments in it where it's like kind of scary. Not scary, but like it's got like moments where like there's murder going on and it's just kind of like you know. If that makes sense. I don't really know. It's pretty good, honestly. I wouldn't say, like, I'd watch it again. Because I think I kind of just, like, got distracted and didn't continue all on with it. But, like, it's definitely a good show. But if you want to watch it, go for it. If you like that kind of stuff with, like, murder and stuff like that, watch it. It's pretty good. This next one took me by surprise took me by surprise okay so it's called the OA pretty much rundown of it is basically this girl gets like kidnapped and her, she eventually wants herself to be called the OA and they end up doing like a bunch of symbol thingies and they end up like going into different dimensions of themselves and stuff it's kind of like a lot but it's really cool. It's, there's a lot going on, but it's so cool. And the, one of the guy, the guy, I'm not gonna tell you who he plays, but an actor in this show is the one and only Lucius Malfoy from Harry Potter. Hear me out, okay? I didn't. Okay, if you've seen Harry Potter, the way that he looks in that, you know, long like blonde white hair, that's crazy to see what like he looks like now i didn't even know those are the same person until i looked it up and i was like someone just i cannot it was mind blowing mind blowing okay this next one is one of my all-time favorites i'm really really pissed off that netflix decided to take it off of Netflix like they can't well, they didn't take it off Netflix they canceled the show and I'm so frustrated okay it's called Anne with an E um I really love decade pieces with whether it's a movie or a TV show but this one was based in like the 18 the 1800s yeah the eight yeah it was based in the 1800s and it's like so cool basically it's girl she's a little redhead named Anne and with an E at the end um but she is like an orphan this little family 
at Green Gables wants to adopt a kid, but they want it to be a boy so he can help with, like, farm chores and stuff. But they get Anne, and they just, originally they don't really want her, but then eventually they warm up to her and they love her. And she just, like, kind of is growing up, and she finally gets home, and it's just so freaking cute. I love it. Maybe I'll go rewatch it right now. No, I won't. I'm already rewatching a different show. If you saw my last, um, my part one of, um, Netflix recommendations, I did Gilmore Girls was on there, and it was, like, my top anxiety, you know, show. My re I will rewatch this till the day I die. I'm rewatching that again. Are we surprised? No. Anyway, this next one is pretty basic. Pre pretty, pretty basic. Um, Outer Banks. Everyone's probably seen this by now, but I'm just going to throw this in here anyways. Um, because it was actually pretty good. It was kind of like a, not like a, what's it called? Kind of like a treasure hunt type show. It was pretty good. It was like the actor didn't want to be in it at first because he thought it was going to be like Goonies as a TV show. Um, I would say if you had to like compare it to anything, it would be kind of compared to Goonies, but it's still not quite like, it's not quite like that at all. Um, but it's still like really, it's just really good. It's kind of cool to see, I guess. Um, I don't really know what else to say about that one. I just really like, I thought it was pretty good. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This next one is called Lock and Key. This one's really crazy actually. There's kind of like I just love the storyline in this one. So basically, um, in the beginning of like the first scene or whatever, you see like this family, they're driving to a place to go to this building and it's called um, like Key House, but their last name is Locke, but Locke with like an E at the end. So it's the Locke and Key, that's how it kind of became like the name or whatever. But you know, Locke and the Key House, because they love to play on like words, you know? And like they mentioned that in the show, I'm not just like saying that. But, um, that happened and, like, some stuff happened before they got there. And then, eventually, these kids start finding these keys that do magical things, pretty much. I'm not going to say any more because I don't want to, like, give it all away. But it's actually, like, really good. I highly recommend this one. Okay, so this next one is On My Block. This one's been out for a while. Um, well, most of these have been out for a while. But uh, this one's been pretty good. I really like this one. It's also kind of, like, kind of reminds me of, like, a... Uh, um twisted version of outer banks but um anyway this one's really good too it's basically just like these kids that live in this town <laughs> anyway basically half the time they're looking for the roller world money you kind of need to watch the show to kind of get it but um some other stuff happens all up in between all of that in like the second season and stuff and it's just i don't know i think it's pretty good i highly recommend it again you know i'm gonna say this again but watch it you know Okay, so this next one's really good. It's called Dead to Me. This one's really crazy. So, quick rundown of that. We, she, has a husband. Husband gets hit by car. Not good. Really sad. You know? And then she goes to, like, a support group. She meets this girl. They become best friends. And eventually, you find out what happened to her husband. And then they end up, more murder happens, pretty much. It's really actually really good actually. I think I also kind of watch want to watch that one again cuz it's really good. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. I keep looking at myself. I'm very sorry. Um but yeah, no, that one's really good. I love just like the storyline and kind of how dramatic it is and like could you imagine like I love to like like imagine like what if that happened to me? Like that's crazy. I would no. Well, I'm too young to, you know, have a husband and have him get, get hit by a car, but but like, could you imagine? Or like having someone I know have that happened to them, like being her kids or something. That's crazy. Really crazy. This next one is more of a kid show, I feel like. But the next two actually are more like kid shows, but I, I really like them. I'm very like a kid show person. I don't know. I really like shows that are just like for the younger generation that are like still good, you know? Like, I hate, no, no hate on Disney, but like new Disney shows are not that good at all. But, like, I still rewatch, like, old Disney shows, like, Wizards of Waverly Place and stuff till the day I die. These ones, however, were good, and I liked these. This one was Ashley Garcia, Genius in Love. This one's really good. It ca got canceled. I don't think there's going to be any more seasons, which kind of sucks, but it's pretty good for what we had. It was, like, one season. But 
Um, it was basically just about this girl. She got like her GED and finished college at like age nine. Like she was just like a crazy genius. But she wanted, she ended up moving to like California to work on robots or something for NASA. And then she like wants high school experience. So she like, you know, tries to like get a boyfriend or stuff. And she, you know, tries to have a high school experience. Yeah. Okay, so this next one, as I said, kind of a kid show. But if you are on TikTok, um, you probably have heard of it. I hope you've heard of it. Um, it was kind of pretty big for a minute. Um, Julie and the Phantoms. I loved it. I don't care what anyone says. I really don't. I loved it. Um, it was choreographed or produced or something by Kenny Ortega. If you don't know who that is, he was the guy who also did all the choreography and producing for High School Musical movies. He also did them did like choreography I can't remember what he did for each one but he was like either choreographing directing or chore or producing for a bunch of movies like Dirty Dancing all the high school musical movies all the Descendants movies Michael Jackson um Hannah Montana a plenty more that I could probably think of at some point but he literally is like incredible I wish I was him um but that's how kind of like how I really knew that the show was going to be like so good um but I watched it and it was actually so good my heart broke a couple of times it was just like you need to watch it um but i'm gonna give you the rundown so you guys can like know if you want to watch it but pretty much basically um you start out with a scene of these boys if you don't i don't think this is like a spoiler but with these boys they're banned three of them are like dude i'm hungry let's go get some food they go and they eat hot dogs that were grilled on a car dumb dumb thing number one grilling why would you Sorry, but it was just like a stupid thing. Why would you eat that? Gross. So they eat that and then they die. And this is like the something 1990 something. I don't really know. But then later to 2020, um, this girl is like going through her mom's, like her mom died and she's going through like the office finally. And she finds like the CD. She plays it. OMG, ghost boys pop up. And then a bunch of stuff happens throughout the show. Pretty much, that's the rundown. I don't know. I just loved the show. It was so cute. Go watch it right now, please. This next one, pretty good. It's like one of those really long shows that you could totally just start and like watch forever. So, um, it's called New Girl. It's pretty good. Um, I don't really know how to describe like the plot to you, but there's this, it's just honestly one of those like cute long comedy comedies that you can just kind of like throw on. And just watch, but then there's like slightly a storyline to it, I guess. One of those, if that makes any sense. This next one is called Never Have I Ever. Um, this girl basically is like in high school and she just wants to like, you know, experience life and her and her new nerd ner her and her like nerdy friends, not no offense to them, but like they're all a little nerdy, are just like living life and they decide they want boyfriends and well if you watch it you'll see how that goes. This next one is called Atypical. This one's coming out with a new season soon. Pretty excited about that. Um, this one's pretty much about just like a kid that has autism and him like going through life. And as a high schooler, he eventually like gets a girlfriend and he's just like, you know, going to then eventually he gets a girlfriend, go, you know, he's high school, he goes to college eventually. And it's just kind of like his experience and like his family life and things like that. And I just think it's so cute. And I think it's just like a really cool show to like, and stuff you don't see a lot of shows that like really represent like autism and stuff and i just think it's really cute so go watch it um but maybe wait maybe start it soon and then hopefully by the time you're done and think it comes out in january the new season i'm so hyped so hyped this next one is called the society this one also did get canceled by netflix i'm so pissed about so many shows that they canceled and I could go on a whole ass rant about it but we're not going to basically a bunch of this big group of teenagers are supposed to be going on a camping trip um they don't something happens and they come back home and then no one is to be found they can't find our their parents they can't find anyone at all so then they're just like stuck in like their town but there's no one and they have to like build their own town or not build their own town but they have to like learn how to like work together as like their own community and ration food and try to survive until they can get saved but it's all kind of crazy and like the ending like shook yeah 
This next one is called Trinkets. I just finished this with my mom. I don't think there's going to be another season just because of the way it ended, but they totally could add another season if they wanted to. But this one's basically just about a group, like these three girls that meet at a like meeting for like people that steal. I don't know what it's called, but they like like to steal things from stores. Um, but that's how they meet and they become best friends and it's just kind of like them going through life in high school and just like a bunch of stuff happens and you kind of, I don't want to spoil anything, but you kind of have to watch it to really know. But like in the end, it's just like, me and my mom were just honestly on the verge of tears at the, that ending. Please watch. This next one is called Everything Sucks. Um, I don't really know how to explain the plot to this one either. This one's kind of strange, but I, it's really good. Please go watch the trailer or like the little clip that they give you on Netflix. If that one has one, I don't know if that one has one, but I'm pretty sure it does. But it's like pretty cute and just like these kids in high school. It's adorable. Okay, so this last TV show is called The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. This one's really funny. Um, it's about this girl that gets trapped in a bunker because I can't remember why she goes into this bunker, but she goes into this bunker for like years and then she comes out and she's just like confused. She doesn't even know what's going on and she just like tries to get through life and it's really funny actually. I kind of want to watch that again. I watched that show, I'm pretty sure in like eighth grade. I don't know why I didn't put it in the last Netflix recommendation, but it's really funny. I might have put it in the last one, but I don't think I did. But it's really funny, so highly recommended. Okay, so now here are some movies. The first one I've got for you is called Enola Holmes. Um, you've probably seen this pop up on your Netflix if you haven't already seen it. Um, it's pretty much about like Sherlock Holmes' little sister and she, her mom goes missing and she's like trying to like find her because she knows that her mom like needs her. And, you know, she kind of goes through all of this. If you've seen, like, the boy that's in it with her, Chef's Kiss, beautiful boy. Did I just say that on the internet? Yes, I did. Okay. Anyway, pretty good. I actually really liked it. It was really cute. I loved seeing, like, Sherlock Holmes with, like, a little sister. Like, that was really cute. And the fact, like, Millie Bobby Brown looked absolutely incredible in it. Like, she was, again, Chef's Kiss. Millie Bobby Brown is so so pretty i can't i can't um this next one is called the outcasts um this one's really good i actually one of my like chillax where i'm gonna fall asleep soon show movies almost called shows movies um it's pretty good it's got like um victoria justice in it and they're just like you know outcasts they get made fun of and then they decide that they want to take over and they want to become popular. So they get all of like the outcasts, the nerds and all of them to literally take over and that that's it. They just form like a big group to push out all the popular people. This next one is Sierra Burgess is a loser. Pretty sure I said that right. I don't know if I said her last name right, but that one's really good too. Um, basically, it has like Noah Centineo in it. And that one girl, I don't know her name in real life, but she was in Stranger Things and Riverdale. Um, she's in it and it's super cute. Like she, so this popular girl gives her, gives this boy her number because she's like, oh, she's gross. So like, it would just be really funny. But they end up like texting back and forth. And eventually he does find out that it is Sierra and not the popular girl. But like a bunch of cute stuff happens. Ends up being a really adorable movie. Yes. This next one is called When We First Met. Um, this one's really cute. Basically, this guy is like in love with this girl. And shh, pretty, uh, I don't know how to explain this. So this guy is in love with this girl. And at the beginning, you kind of see like it's her wedding and she's getting married to this guy. And she, he eventually like makes a wish to go back in time basically. And he eventually goes back in time a bunch of times like trying to change the future. And you just kind of watch and you see how it goes because every time it just progressively gets worse. Um, it's really funny, actually. I really liked it. It was obviously I really liked it because it's on my list. But I think it's just like really funny and kind of funny to see like how things could change. Like I would love to know how my actions could change the future. You know? This next one is all of the Back to the Future movies. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. They go back to the future. They also go back to the past. But all of them are just so good, and I've loved them since I was a kid. If you haven't seen them, I'm extremely disappointed in you. Don't talk to me. 
This next one is called Ladybird. Um, this one's really good. Basically, this girl, she doesn't want to be called by her real name. She wants to be called Ladybird. Um, but she just kind of like goes throughout high school. Some stuff happens. She's just, you know. But then eventually she makes it to her favorite college. Or to the college she wants to go to. And she's just... I don't know. You just have to watch it to really know. Um, Timothy Chalamet's in it. And I can't remember her real name in real life. But she also played... Was also in Little Women with Timothy Chalamet. Um... Okay, so that was my last movie for you guys. I'm very sorry. We didn't have a lot of movies to go through. Um, but I do think this video was a good length for you guys. So I hope you guys got a lot of movie show ideas. Um, if you guys do end up taking any of my suggestions, please comment which one you guys are watching down below. I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Check out all my social medias in the description because I do post a lot about my YouTube channel in there. But I'm tired now and... Yeah, so yeah, subscribe, and, you know, subscribe. But yeah, last but not least, have a good day, have a good evening, have a good night, or whenever you're watching this, bye! Okay, so we're going to show you my dog real quick, because he just got a haircut. Look. He loves a haircut. Okay, come on.